sequential or hierarchical method of entry in multiple regression. Only use this method if you have a rationale for entering predictors in a particular sequence. Remember to run a standard multiple regression first, requesting collinearity, diagnostics, and residual plots to check, to check the uh, assumption of multiple regression. The key issue is the order of the entry of predictors independent variables is determined by the data analysis or the researcher. Sequential regression involves running a series of multiple regression analyses. One more time we are going to use the same data set that we used in previous multiple regression uh, video. So we have uh, here five independent variables and now we are going to use sequential multiple regression and each predictors independent variables will be entered in one step in an order that's determined by the researcher. Our dependent variables is a physics achievement test and then the order of entry will be step 1 gender, step 2 IQ, 3 EI, 4 B SAT and 5 MSAT score. Hit analyze, regression, linear, our dependent variable is physics test score independent we, we are going to enter first gender step one and here click next so we enter block one second is IQ IQ click next this is second order now third EI Click next, fourth B set, barbell set there next, and the last one M set, math set there, and then click next. Click statistics, we'll check all of them, no problem. Confidence interval, continue, plots. This one will go over here and the upper one down there. We can check normality plot if we want. Click continue and that's it and hit OK. This is the first descriptive first table produced by the descriptive statistics and it is useful for reporting your results second correlation is always in the uh, in, in our first video this section of the table gives details of the correlation between each pair of variables we do not want strong correlation between the predictor variables the values here are acceptable This is the first table that is different from using the standard method. Each time that a block is introduced, a new model is formed. In this case, we have five variables, meaning five blocks. There were five models. Model summary is another important. Um, so in this model, we have five models. Here we can see that model one if you see 0.131 multiply by 113, 0.277 multiply by 127, 33, 41% and 80%. So here we can see that the model one which included only gender, because here is the first one is the gender, accounted for just 13% of the variance. The inclusion of the second block of the predictors into the model which is IQ accounted for 27 percent 3 is the EI emotional intelligence 33 percent for 41 percent and then last one is the M math set is 80 percent so this final model accounted for 80 percent of the variance 
and if you look at the level of significance all of them or each of these model is statistically significant and this one the degree of freedom f value we will be reporting all of these are our square um, degree of freedom f value and then level of significance in your table the next table is ANOVA table if you look at the level of significance all of them are below or less than 0 0.001 meaning each model is statistically significant here are some more information for the predict predictors or independent variables from the models we usually look at the tolerance and VIF to check the collinearity of the statistics tolerance we said it's between 0 and 1 uh, and then VIF we expect less than 5 so we do not have any problem with multicollinearity this normal PP plot is produced by normal normal probability plot option if the points are reasonably close to the straight line then you can assume normality here in the scatter plot between the standardized residuals and the standardized predicted values if the points form a rectangle across the middle of the graph then you can assume that your data meet assumption about normality linearity and the homeostasis of the residuals the spread of the points is not rectangular here but the distribution is not too bad next step is reporting the result now the most tedious part is reporting the results from a species output so we ran five models so in the first model 13 percent appearance were statistically significant or predicted uh, ex in in model 2 28 percent appearance were explained by two predictors using three predictors for 34 percent appearance and four predictors predictors mean independent variables here 42 percent and when we include all five variables then 80 percent of variance were accounted now we have to report them in a table we are also required to uh, report these results in the table format APA table format so here is the title of the um, result summary of R square values and R square change at each step in sequential regression so we have five models with the variable 1 2 3 4 5 so we have all these values and then asterisk suggests the statistical uh, p-values the asterisk which is here in the note lesser than 0 0.001 so the next one is also we need to report the coefficient so we have a standardized coefficient beta values um, and we have a couple of issues with the minus values so if the negative value means the here the sentence the negative sign of the slope for gender indicated that the higher scores on gender being female predicted lower score on physics and we have to report that in our table format as well so we have all five variables and then beta score uh, squares I mean the beta values um, um, reported in the APA format tables Uh, one last thing is make sure you italicize the symbols uh, used to represent uh, the results from the equation such as the R square R P values um, like this one italicize and have enough space in between the numbers and letters even in the table format make sure that your uh, values F value P values these are italicized